Hello everyone, my name is Kenneth Bruni and welcome back. So this is going to be the chapter 6 of our lab tutorials for SNG 207 Programming for Engineers. And in this particular video, we are going to look at concatenation. Well, concatenation may sound a very big word, but this is what it basically means. So Python concatenation or concatenation in general simply means joining two or more strange values together. So joining two or more strange values together is concatenation. So let's say we have a variable called first name and my first name is Kenneth and another variable last name and my last name is Bruni. So let's say we have another variable full name and now what I can do is I can now say first name plus last name all right now if i decide to print out full name and run this all that i've done and of course we can see kenneth bruni printed out over here it is joined together okay so it doesn't really matter whether there is space or there is no space if i save this and run this again it is still joined together and these spaces are not going to account for anything let me bring some here the spaces you see like this is not going to account for anything it is this value being concatenated or joining up with this value as you see over here now we could have actually done same over here so if we decide to do something like Kwame plus and I do in chroma over here and save this and run this yes we get Kwame and chroma it doesn't matter the spaces we put over here now if we want to have a space in between Kwame and Nkroma and if your guess is as good as mine we can bring in another strange which in this case is going to be an empty strange and we do another concatenation remember this is an empty string there's no like there's a white space in between the quotation mark so when I save this and run this we now see Kwame and Nkroma at least um, nicely written out over here and if you want to do same with our full name over here we just have to bring another strange an empty strange for that matter and now if i print out full name save this and run this we do get kenneth bruni printed out nicely for us and back to the definition concatenation simply means joining two or more strange values together now currently what we have on line five in terms of the values that we are storing in full name we have first name that's one strange then this empty strange is also another one then we have the last name which is also a strange so we are storing three different strings inside of full name and we are printing it out over here as shown in the terminal kenneth bruni good now this can be a little bit difficult if we decide to be adding plus 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 and um, later on we are going to see other efficient ways of handling this and i'm going to show you right about now so over here i'm going to comment this out remember we still have full name i mean first name and last name over here so let me just cut this and bring it on top of what we have over here and now we are going to see how we use formatted strange so formatted strange is going to cut down on the work for us so instead of using plus 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 a lot of the time we can just use formatted strange and we are going to see how it looks like now one of the things i should mention is formatted strange only became possible with um, more recent versions of python remember the python version we are using currently as you can see over here at least based on what we downloaded and installed is python version 3.11.1 okay and 3.11 is definitely the latest version so formatted strange works for us but in lower versions i think python 2. Point, those ones formatted strings were not included in python and now this is how we use formatted strings so i can simply do print okay and I'll bring in a strange. Remember, it is a formatted strange. And I'll prefix the strange with an F. 
so this strange it can be a double or single quotation mark that we already know then i'll prefix it with an f then it makes it a formatted strange and in order to now use this i can now bring in this curly brackets and this curly brackets i just type in first name you can see that i don't have any problem then i'll just leave a space and bring in another curly bracket and i'll type in last name and i'll save so now this curly brackets is basically going to be a placeholder where we put variables in the formatted strange expression or statement that we have so now I'll save this and now when i run this i get the same kenneth bruni but then it is cutting down on a lot of the plus and the empty strange and the plus and the empty strange okay so this can go on for i mean quite a number of times so now let me just show you this and let me see a variable called um let's say greetings so the greeting variable goes like hello and let me have another variable called message and the message goes like learning programming is easier with python all right and now i want to print something like hello my name is kenneth bruni learning programming is easier with python okay so now what i can now do is i want to bring in the greeting so i can just bring in the curly brackets over here and the name of the variable is greetings so this is going to be hello and inside of this i can see my name is there's no need for a plus so i can bring in a comma over here and this is going to read hello my name is then the first first name and the last name and i can bring a full stop over here then i can bring in the message so i'll bring in let me just close this one so that we see everything over here so i'll bring in the curly bracket and i'll type in message over here now this is a little bit readable because we can actually look at the values over here and make sense of where things are going and we can actually use more spaces over here to format our work other than bringing in the plus and the empty string and things like that so let me just clear this out and now when i run this we get our message hello my name is kenneth Bruni. learning programming is easier with python this looks a little bit cleaner than what we could have done using the plus and empty string so clearly everything we've done over here is just joining two or more strange values together and this is what we refer to as python concatenation now as we move along we are going to look at using formatted strings a lot now there's another technique which we can use which is going to be discussed in the next chapter when we look at strings all right so this is going to be the end of this video if you have any question kindly write them down when we meet in class we can discuss them but please watch these videos maybe one two or three times in a day and make sure that you practice alongside use your own examples try different examples and see some of the things you can do thank you very much and catch you in the next video bye bye